Enjoy this free preview from My Outdoor TV. With the largest library of outdoor shows, we are the home of the adventurous, the champions, the legends. My Outdoor TV. Try us free. Well, I drove down to Texas with the boys and great friend Mike Palmer, who the boys affectionately call Uncle Mikey. When we got down to Texas, we met up with one of Mike's buddies, Rick. Rick is the ranch manager for Spread Oaks Ranch in Texas. And when me and the boys got there and met Rick, well, you can't help but instantly like the guy. Well, we had heard the ranch was overrun with raccoons, possums, armadillos, and all kinds of stuff that they wanted to thin out. And we were there to thin them out. said there was a little bit of a raccoon problem, I guess we didn't quite understand him, despite some of the stories he told us. There were raccoons literally everywhere, and we had a blast. We were calling him in. Nice shot. <laughs> oh, that was an awesome running shot. Jeb, nice shot, sir. We were driving and finding him and shooting him. We were spotting them up in trees and shooting them out of trees. On it. Where do you see it? Uh, it's not <laughs> Seth, nice shot. Smoked him. I mean smoked him out of the tree. I love it. All right, we're going to go grab him. Nice spot, Mike. Shoot him. Oh, my God. Oh, you got him that time. Nice shot. <laughs> here's, the, here's the one you shot. That's the first one. Mike spotted the eyes up here as we were cruising through. We threw the thermal up there. Seth made one heck of a shot. Yep. I mean, it came Sweet. flipping out of there, and then I think you hit the other one, and then your brother went a little crazy <laughs> with the stag arm. So, pop, 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 and he smoked it. <laughs> Finished off your first one. So, we have been smoking. We've been having a blast. Oh, yeah. Me and Seth sat out at one spot, and literally Seth shot, I think, three raccoons and a possum in like five seconds. It was unbelievable. Dead. Shoot the next one. Nice. Shoot that one. Oh, that's three down. Oh my gosh. Nice shooting, Seth. That was sweet. We waited on them for a while, waiting for the pigs, and uh, finally just couldn't take it anymore. We gave them, gave them the old ATN thermal scope. Three for three. Racking them up. <laughs> I can honestly say I've never shot three raccoons. Bam, bam, bam. Two, yes. Three, no. Nope. That was pretty sweet. Let's see if we can find all of them. Nice <laughs> man. Well, fast action down here in Texas, doing a little thermal hunting. It's really fun. If you've never tried it, you need to. Uh, we've got three raccoons and one possum, probably within the span of like two minutes. I mean, the raccoons were quick, and then the possum wasn't too long after. So we were helping them out with a predator problem, and the problem with too many raccoons, especially in a place like Spread Oaks Ranch, where they have amazing waterfowl hunting, and a lot of not only songbirds, but also waterfowl that nest on them. Raccoons can be devastating to not only those nests and the eggs, but also the young birds when they're born. So we felt like we were really helping the ranch out and we were having fun Take while it. we were doing it. As soon as you start, you know. Nice shot. <laughs> nice shot, buddy. Nice 
so cool. We're using the ATN Thermal Thors was the perfect setup for this ranch and the problem they were having with raccoons. I was running the ATN Thermal Binoculars and Trent and Jeb and Seth and even Mike were running the ATN Thermal Thors on top of ARs and we were having an absolute blast. All right, you ready? Oh my gosh. Smoke him. Nice shot. Nice shot, sir. <laughs> we started to feel like we were making a dent in the population, but every night we would go out, it seemed like we saw just as many. At one point, Jeb and Trent went out to sit a feeder, hoping that a hog would come in, and I think they had seven, eight raccoons at one spot. It was just unbelievable. I have never seen a place that had that many raccoons. Well, we had another successful night. No hogs came in, but at the last minute, I decided to bag a raccoon. Another one for the stag arms in 223, and another good night. Part of the problem is raccoon prices for pelt have dropped to almost zero. So predator populations are increasing all over the country, and the impact is felt not only on turkey populations, waterfowl populations, songbird populations, but a lot of things are getting impacted. So do your part, like we are, and help control the predators. It's pretty dang fun, and believe it or not, raccoons are actually pretty good to eat.